next year or the next couple of years looking back, I will, I think I'll remember honestly when I'm coming to the rink and look, look in the rafters and I see a division banner and a conference banner. Um, that's something that nobody can take away from you. And that was something that I was thinking about towards the end of the regular seasons. Uh, it's pretty cool to to hang a banner in the in the in the rafters. So that's something that um, I'll be able to come back and watch games here and and look up into the stands. And then also um, we we it wasn't just regular season. We we played well in playoffs too. Um, first round was a battle. Second round was a battle as well. Um, and then you know we made the third round interesting. So. Um, I think that's, that's what I'll rem- remember um, down the line. You played for all sorts of different teams, all sorts of different levels. Not quite a journey. And as, as I believe you've said, this, this is it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how convincing Pete is coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you, know, uh, you know, looking back on the whole, you know, the whole career, we can, we can talk about all the different places you've been, but you came back here after spending you know, parts of five seasons here in the AHL. Yep. Uh, I'm sure you've talked about a court, but that decision to come back here, um, I'm sure a lot of it was family. Mm-hmm. Making, making this your home, but you know, what did it feel like to step back out in the ice two or three years ago and uh, you know, see this crowd at least you know, for a couple more times? Yeah, uh, that was definitely, I knew at the end of my career, after I had start, started living here about, I uh, must have been five, six years ago, I, I, then I went over in Europe. I had, you know, four seasons over in Europe. Um, I knew that at the end I would want to come back here and play. Um, it's pretty cool to live, you know, 10 minutes from a rink where there's a pro professional hockey team. Um, I didn't, you, you got, you, you, you know, as a player play, that – somebody that had played that long you got to take advantage of that so I knew I knew my last year after my last year in Sweden I wanted to come here and play I didn't know how many years I wanted to play but at least at least you know maybe a couple and um, it was it was really nice to get this third third year this year almost a bonus year it's not like I've come out with a statement or anything but yeah I think I think I will be retiring um, and you know moving on to moving on to what's next but the cool thing is i'm not going to be far at all i think i'm i'm sure i'll be at a majority of the home games next year um i'm gonna want to still be around the rink um i'll know multiple guys on the team next year whoever it is um whoever is here from from this year so it'll be neat to just be around the be still be around the rink um have a chance to come here and watch games um and yeah, it was it was definitely something that I wanted to do to, and come back and play here for the Thunder, and it meant a lot playing uh, in front of those fans. You would be the first player to play here and then eventually end up living here. We got a whole a whole Hall of Fame yeah. of the guys who, you know, from all over right. America, all over Europe, who decided to end up, end up here. You need to meet eventually uh, marry someone here and things like that. So you've yeah, got, you've got good company. Here. Right, exactly. Guys, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, daughter and a son, yep. Uh, I remember the daughter from Frozen. Yep, yeah, of course, of course. Being close to home, getting to raise them, getting to be around them, they got to see their dad play hockey at least a couple times. Yeah. In person, close to home, get back in time with that. Yep, exactly. No, that meant a lot to me, uh... You know they weren't able to come to every game, but when when we did have the earlier games, um, made sure you know they got we got the pictures. Um, they were able to come down to warm ups, and I got to see them on the glass and have a couple laughs. And we have those pictures that we'll be able to look back on. And hopefully, you know while they grow up, we can just continue to come to games, and and they'll hopefully remember a bit that their dad played here. Um, and if not, then we have those pictures to show them. And I think that's just a really cool thing that not everybody has the opportunity to do that. Um, maybe, you know, maybe if I stayed in Europe longer, I wouldn't have had that opportunity or, or whatnot. But um, it's, it's just cool to be 
in the same town that they'll be raised and get to play here. It's special. Um, and doing it in front and also in front of so many friends in the area, whether they're family friends or just friends from around the area. Um, that's what made it really special. Um, I mean, yeah, honestly, I mean, at the end, I wanted to just do a lap for the whole arena. The The crowd here is just incredible. I mean, of, of course, uh, you know, my I was waving to my wife, um, saying bye. I mean, she was here. She was here when I played for the Phantoms. So she was here my first, I think I was my third year pro, um, would have been around 2013, 2013, 2014, one of those years. So um same rink you know same same rink different organization but um pretty cool that uh she was able to be there at the end and then after that it was you know just kind of just paying paying my respects to everybody in, in the arena the town is just it, this rink is so much fun to play with play in um that, you know they don't they don't build arenas like this anymore where it seems like the stairs are so steep and the crowd just seems like they're right on top of you um that's what makes it so fun to play here obviously the fans are extremely passionate and you have you have four thousand fans in that arena and it feels like you know it feels like it's 10 and then, and then and then you pack it with standing room only and it feels like it's you know fifteen thousand. so it's it's so much fun to play here and that was you know that was just i might as i i took a little moment at the end to just take it all in and pay my respects to you know the the fans that have have been showing showing up all year you're a younger much younger man probably younger than i am now you stepped out for the first time to the fans do you remember that first game um that's a good question i i don't I do. I mean, I remember things about that first time that I was here because I came, I came here at the end of my junior season um, when I finished in the WHL. I was 21 years old, and it was at the end of their season. Uh, I only played five games right at the end of the year. I mean, I do. I remember lots of it. I remember. Um, I mean, I remember scoring my first goal. I think it was a few games in. It was. Uh, I think patty maroon passed to me from behind the net in the second period uh right here at the end end of the rink here um so i remember like little de details about that and that was what that was 14 years ago now so it's pretty now that might have even been 15 because it was the end end of end of my junior so um a long time ago and it's just kind of funny how it's all in the same arena right like i i still find myself walking into the rink and uh like being reminded of when I was here in the past just from the smell like just the being in the smell of the rink um and I, I that that was always a cool thing um you know the kind of the smell kind of brings back memories and uh uh so so yeah that that was obviously a big part and you know also why I wanted to come here it was cool to end my career in the same place that I started it <laughs> I don't I don't miss the yellow rafters. I thought they did a I thought they did a great job after they painted. I mean, it is the real, yellow rafters were cool because I think I feel like they were when I was watching those videos of the Red Wings, I think the rafters were yellow, right? So it was like then it really looked like it was it was old school, but no, I think they did a good job with the new paint, <laughs> the paint job. <laughs> Right. Um, you know, a lot of that comes from local ownership now uh, and, and, and things like that. You're going into a, a local business mm -hmm. you know, now as your next chapter. And, uh, you know, what is it like to see the community investing in a place and a team in a building like this compared to the place? You can just tell, um, you can just tell people care. Um, after what was it? I think it was after, I think it was after we, we beat Maine. Um, management came in, Ed Moore came in, Claude Loisele came in, Joe Patterson came in, uh, even Glenn Murkowski, um, old legends like that come in and just kind of, 
show that they're excited obviously the community is super excited um and then even you know around the rink like you were saying now we have now we have whatever they call them suites or luxury boxes up top it's it's really neat to see that the town is so invested they appreciate hockey here they you know a lot of people grew up watching hockey you know watching the red wings play it's cool now to see another team here um being appreciated and and knowing that um they want to keep hockey around here um i I just think that's pretty special um you know we wouldn't want to lose hockey here and i think the amount of support in the crowd and also the like you said the the improvements in the rink it shows that and i think that's just i think that's just i think that's really cool Yeah, nothing big. Um, I mean, we're, we will be heading to California. My sister's getting married. That's really our only plans. Um, and then besides that, just, just, you know, just hanging out and, you know, decompressing and um, enjoying some time off. Uh, a specific moment is hard to say. I mean, what I'll remember most for sure is just getting texts from so many different people, whether it's buddy Jeff Kissel who's a dentist to Tim Alden who's a judge to somebody that I golf with, just little things like that who are, you know, friends off off the rink but are enjoying enjoying watching the team play and me play little things like that um i think i think that's what i'll remember the most and also being away from the rink which when i see those when i see those people or those or those uh or those even even you know regular fans that maybe i don't know personally um i think that's definitely what what i'll remember that's that's the coolest part